look at myself as being the champion. I look at myself as as being someone who has to has to step up my game and who has to work harder. I look at it as as an opportunity to push myself. I don't think there are a lot of people out there who have had the opportunity that I have and who get to fight for a belt and get to you know, fight for that number one spot. So I just, I feel happy where I'm at. For my fight at Invicta FC, I get up at either 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. I wake up that early because I have to work before training. I like getting work over with, so I have the whole day to train and recover and train again. I teach classes at LA Boxing in Long Beach. I have to teach because I have bills to pay, and I really don't make enough money to, to survive uh, with just fighting alone. So. Uh, myself and most of the other people that fight have to work regular jobs. I train at Checkmat BJJ in La Habra with Lucas Leach. I train at Ring Training Center with Mark Munoz, and I do um, Muay Thai with Raja Shiffin. And right now we are over at Innovative Results in Costa Mesa with Corey Beasley. What makes Jessica unique is uh, a lot of people win a fight, especially a lot of people win a world title, and they disappear for two, three, four weeks, you know, living in the glory. She was back two days after she won her belt, and that tells me a lot about her work ethic, and that kind of consistency is gonna continue to win belts. A lot of the strength and conditioning stuff that we do will, uh, will mimic stuff that she's going to experience in the fight. So whether it's you know tying up with somebody against the cage and having to continuously put pressure on them, um, that's draining on a lot of people. But they don't train that. You know, having double underhooks and lifting somebody up, and then having to come out and throw your hands. Most people's arms are all gassed out, so we train for that. Um, train it for transition. Train it for being on the ground. Train it for isometric holds because she does so much jujitsu. Uh, we mix a lot of that stuff into the fight, into the training as well. As far as Jessica is somebody that I train, I mean, she, like I said, two days after she wins the world title, she's back in the gym. You know, so, I mean, for me, having somebody that's willing to be that consistent is giant. Because a lot of people take, you know, two weeks to a month off after a fight. And for a lot of people, they lose, you know, their gas tank. They lose all the work that we worked up to versus being able to stand on what they built and get even better. You know, so just that work ethic from there is huge. And then when she, you know, she day in, week in, week out, she's here. And this week, last week, I put her through five five-minute rounds of some of the nastiest stuff that I can put her through. And it's not enjoyable for anybody, but you know, she makes it through and she's doing great. She's in a good spot. She's already ready. She said it was this weekend, I wouldn't feel bad. Fighting's hard, fighting takes takes a toll on you and it takes a lot of sacrifices and before I had the opportunity to fight for for Invicta and fight for a title I just really didn't know how much longer I was going to do it so I was 
I was relieved and, and optimistic when Invicta came along. So right now I just I just want to keep improving and, and see how far I can go when There's never a day when I say that I don't want to fight anymore. There are, there are times when it gets so hard that it, you know, tests my my heart and my my mental um, strength. And there are some times where, yeah, it would be easier to quit, but but I don't. I push through it because it's something I want. It's something that I know I have to work hard for, and that I'm doing something that not everybody can do. So I, I want to prove myself that I can do these things. In sparring and in practice, I just really try and visualize what I want to do in the fight, just trying to visualize my hand raised, visualize certain things that I see happening in the fight or certain things that I want to make happen in the fight. Um, just trying to be prepared for, for everything that can possibly happen. In fighting, I, I really never have any expectations other than having my hand raised at the end. So I just like to go in with an open mind. I like being prepared for everything. I do like visualizing certain situations in training, but I'm not fixated on those in the fight because it's MMA and anything can happen. I put a lot of pressure on myself, but I'm not putting a lot of pressure on, on the fight itself. I am going in with an open mind. I want to make my coaches and my teammates proud of me for all of you know, the hard work and effort that they put into me. Um, you know, a fight is a fight, title or not. I look at it as an opportunity to um, improve. I think you improve through competition. I think that you know, you get better through competing and you learn a lot from yourself. You learn what you need to work on, you, you learn what you've improved on, and I just take it as that, a learning experience. How are you standing right now? <laughs> um, you know, waking up this early and going to bed this late, not, you know, seeing a whole lot of the sunlight um, outside of the car at least. Um, it's, it's tough, but nothing that's worth doing comes without its, its difficulties. So I just, I'm happy that I get to train all day, every day, and I get to fight for a great organization like Invicta, and I get to fight for a belt, and I'm just, you know, I'm thankful every day for what I get to do. thought that I would be able to fight for a title. I never thought that I would have the opportunity of headlining a fight um, with, you know, on such a big platform like Invicta. So I'm just, I'm thankful and I'm really happy that um, women's MMA is starting to be, be noticed and respected the way it is. So I'm, I'm happy where I am and I just want to keep improving and see how far I can go.